How do you build the world's most sensitive ruler using lasers? I'm Tom Horner, you're joining me here at Lionix International as we answer this question and more in my top three things you can do with light. Number one, broadband communication. Catching a movie on the go these days or video calling your squad from the park seems pretty mundane. But the next generation of communications networks will be almost zero latency, higher bandwidth, so driverless cars can talk to each other and you'll never have to suffer the buffer. Using light-based signal processing technology, mobile network operators can make more of the available bandwidth, squeezing more information into a signal for faster downloads and even steering coverage from antennas to where it's needed most. Number two, sensing. How would you measure the stretching of space-time with a ruler or otherwise detect very tiny changes in a quantity? Well, you need something with a really small scale, something with well-defined periodic behavior over tiny distances. Well, how about nanoscale light waves? When astronomers wanted to measure the imperceptible stretching of space-time due to gravitational waves, they used the world's most sensitive laser-powered ruler, a laser interferometer called LIGO. And we use these same principles to build biosensors that can pick up on the earliest signs of disease from just a few molecules in a sample of blood. Number three, imaging. You enjoying these technical presentations? Well, imagine them projected on the back of your eye. And that's the promise of new augmented reality technology embedded in stylish glasses for an interactive experience overlaid with real life. And the applications from technological insights to entertainment are huge. But that's not all. Light-based imaging and sensing technology is revolutionizing industries from transport to medicine. For autonomous vehicles to be able to see, they'll require a new light-based radar called LIDAR. And in medical imaging, OCT, or optical coherence tomography, uses the very small wavelength of light to image features on the back of a human eye. So there you have it, three amazing technologies, three amazing uses of light, next generation sensing, imaging and communications. Now the really amazing thing is that we can take all of these technologies and integrate them onto tiny chips. Even really complicated setups like this one at the University of Twente can be put on a chip. And we're using those chips to build a range of modules for a whole wealth of applications. So thanks for joining us on this journey of three things you can do with light. <laughs>